Jonathan Sacerdo T also branded the 41-year-old delusional for suggesting the royal couple's reality show would be a historical documentary. During the course of the article, journalist Alison P. Davis describes a trip to pick up Archie, Meghan and Harry's three-year-old son, from nursery. She writes, at a stoplight, she reaches into the trunk and produces a brand new black backpack and hands it to her security detail to give to an unhoused man on the corner. They are teaching Archie that some people live in big houses, some in small, and that some are in between homes. They made kits to pass out with water and peanut butter crackers and granola bars. Mr. Sacerdo T. described the anecdote as one of the most telling stories in the whole piece. He said, the constant mentions of how they seem to gift everyone at the school and even the journalist herself these giant baskets of fruits and vegetables as if they were organic Mother Teresa's, it's just so out of touch again, with what I think most ordinary people are dealing with. The story of how at the traffic lights she reached into the boot of the car to pull out a pristine new backpack and give some granola bars to a homeless person via her security detail in order to teach their son about his privileged position in the world and how other people have less than them. Mr. Sacerdo T said he cannot think of a weirder way of teaching a child that on a journey in which you get your security guard to give healthy snacks to a homeless person, without you having necessarily to go near them yourself. He also highlighted Meghan's apparent rejection of the reality show label in relation to the Sussex forthcoming series, preferring the term historical documentary. The Duchess explains, The piece of my life I haven't been able to share, that people haven't been able to see, is our love story. I hope that is the sentiment that people feel when they see any of the content or the projects that we are working on. However, Mr. Sacerdo T said, it's a sort of almost delusional reimagining of what everybody suspects they're doing. You say tomato, I say tomato, you say reality show, I say a historical documentary about our untold love story. I think that it is, so far, certainly in these last two big publicity stunts, all about Meghan. Harry pops in to give a reminder of why we should be paying attention to her because probably she would NT be getting this level of profile were it not for the fact that Shush has married him. He added, I don't think she'd be getting this massive podcast number one, dethroning Joe Rogan, the most popular podcast in the world, if she just made such a damp squib of a podcast about female ambition where she is not married to Prince Harry. And the same is true of this profile, and I doubt she would even have had such a 6,500 word profile, front cover, portrait photo, 10 hour photoshoot the day before in the front of the mansion. I can't imagine any of that would have happened were it not for her marriage to him. It was all about her, but he needs to pop up in these cameos in order to remind everyone why she thinks we should be listening. Thank you.